to tell you a wonderful story about my best mushroom hunt ever. To see a world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wildflower. To hold infinity in the palm of your hand or eternity in an hour. This is a quote I've chosen by William Blake because I believe he meant that seeing beauty in every aspect of life is truly living. Everyone gets caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life and they stop, they don't stop and look around and see the beauty that surrounds them. To me, this is a tragedy. And for some, I believe losing out on their quality of life. Have you ever said to yourself, I need to get away? I know I have. And I believe everyone deserves to get away and renew their inner peace. And for me, this is mushroom hunting every spring. I've always loved the great outdoors and loved nature and animals. And when I was a child, you couldn't get me to sleep because I thought I was going to miss something. I haven't changed that much. Um, I get more sleep. But I used to get up at the crack of dawn, and if the sun was shining, I was out playing in it. You see, for me, being in and around nature is the only thing that's ever given me true inner peace. My mother and I have a tradition that we started a few years back. And it is my duty as her daughter to go out and find her some wild moral mushrooms every spring so that we can share and eat together on Mother's Day. My mother loves mushrooms, but she's allergic um, or she gets poison ivy in the woods. For instance, my daughter and I were at her house one spring and she has a patch of woods out back. In a whim, I decided let's go out and look for some mushrooms when well, my daughter didn't have any genes. My mother lent her the jeans. We went out. We were only out around 10 minutes. We didn't have any luck. So we came back in. My daughter handed her the jeans. She washed them, head to toe, poison ivy. She didn't even have to step foot outside. This year is my most wonderful year in my mushroom hunting career. And what I'd like to show you with pride is all of the wonderful, beautiful mushrooms that I found. These are by far the most beautiful mushrooms I've ever found in one setting. And I'd like you to know that these babies will be history by the time we fin when we finish this story. But I decided to keep them just long enough to share them with you. See, my friend knows how much I love to hunt, and she recently got permission to hunt on some new land around West Liberty. Now, the first thing that you should do when you start a mushroom hunt is make sure you have a good walking stick. This is essential. Not only do they push brush out of the way and thorn bushes and help you to see the mushrooms better, but they also help you to brace yourself from taking nasty tumbles, which is very easy to do, and I've done many times. They don't call me Grace, they call me Melissa. So we found our sticks and we were off on the hunt. Now, everything looked beautiful, from the flowers to the smell and the moisture on the ground and all the dead trees, it just shouted mushrooms. We had been walking a couple of hours and I started getting discouraged because we hadn't found anything. And I noticed this beautiful gully down in this really steep hill. And it was filled with mayflowers, dead trees. And I said, Those, the mushrooms have got to be down there. So I rummaged through everything, looked under every mayflower, around every tree, and still nothing. Zip. Zero. So now I'm frustrated. And I have to climb my way up this really steep hill. And believe me, it was, it was a scary hill. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it a couple times. And as I wrapped myself around this tree, trying to get some leverage and make it to the top, I'm out of breath. And I'm like, oh, I'm about to tell April, let's just head to the car. There they were, everywhere, mushrooms around this dead elm. So I screamed, oh my gosh, April, I found them. And she shouted, oh my gosh, and she come running. And I'm telling you, we were like kids in a candy store. What a rush. In my experience in my mushroom hunting, I've never been more excited or had more gratification than I did at this moment. My bag was filling quickly, and it was getting pretty heavy. So I took a quick picture and sent it to my friends for bragging rights and called my mom to let her know the good news, that we would be eating mushrooms on Mother's Day this year. The moral to my story is, don't let life become all work and no play. Make sure that you stop every once in a while and enjoy the beauty that God gave us, which is nature. In my opinion, it is better for you than any drug that a doctor could prescribe to calm nerves, or to defeat depression. I appreciate you all coming and listening to my story today, and I sure hope you enjoyed it.
Thank you very much.